Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Innovation REI. We're going to start our series here on making an offer on a property. People ask all the time, super common question, especially for beginners, you know, how do I know what to offer? Breaking down your offer really comes down to having four numbers clear in your head that you can identify and define in order to come up with what's going to be an offer suitable to reach whatever your goals are. The first thing you need to know is the ARV, which is the after repair value. So in other words, when you fix up the house, what are you going to sell that property for once it's fixed up? You need to know that. The second thing you need to know is your quiet slash carrying cost. These are the costs, it's, it's probably the one most ignored by first time investors, that's why they call them quiet. It's not, it's not a cost just upfront that you think of right away and it's surprising how fast it can add up. But it's things that you incur while holding on to the property. So the, whatever you pay to buy it and sell it, everything in between that you're paying on, utilities, taxes, insurance, interest on money if you've borrowed it, your closing costs when you buy the property, closing costs when you sell the property, realtor fees when you sell the property, if you have to put buyers, pay buyers closing costs when you sell the property, things like that. The third thing you need to know is your renovation cost. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's the amount of money you're going to spend on the property to fix it up to reach that ARV that you've already established. And then the fourth thing you need to know is your profit margin. That can vary greatly from person to person depending on your situation and we're going to talk in detail about that in that segment. But first, to recap, four things you need. You need to know your ARV, you need to have a good idea what your carrying slash quiet costs are going to run you. You need to know what that renovation is going to run you. And then you need to know the profit margin that you expect to get from this property. Get those four things and it basically brings you to whatever you can offer. You start with your ARV, and you subtract those other items, whatever that number that's remaining is. There you have it. That's what you can offer and comfortably make the profit that you're expecting on that property. So with that said, I hope you guys tune into the next few videos in this series where we're going to break down each item from that list specifically, give you a better understanding of it, and give you some ideas um, and thoughts on what you should be figuring for on each of those lines. See you guys next time.